This is the Simplicity Vintage Jumpsuit. I made this at the beginning of the year and I actually think I'm gonna go ahead and wear this today. I love this jumpsuit. I've only worn it a couple times, but it is so comfortable. I just left the grocery store to pick up my breakfast, which is a bowl of fruit. And I got cantaloupe. I always like to pick the bowl that's on the bottom because I always feel like, or at least I think, that the freshest fruit is going to be on the bottom. So, yeah, I always like move the bowl off the top and then reach for the one on the bottom. So that's what I did when I was in the store. But I have somewhere to be today. It's over an hour away and it's in a city I've never been to before. So I'm kind of excited about that. And I'm giving myself enough time to get there early so that I can look around, maybe go shopping and see what they have there. I really wish Hobby Lobby would put their patterns on sale. I remember when they used to have pattern sales, but I don't see them anymore. So. I have resorted pretty much to just getting all my patterns online now. I cannot open. Okay, I got it. This bowl was sealed pretty tight. But yeah, I have um, pretty much just started ordering all my patterns online now from Simplicity.com. And that's been cool. But I did enjoy, you know, getting patterns from Hobby Lobby when they would have those really good sales. I miss those days and I don't know if they're gonna come back to Hobby Lobby or not mm. so this is gonna be my breakfast and then I think later today I may end up eating some Mexican food because that's what I'm kind of craving just the thought of it right now I'm just like oh yeah that would be so good I was looking around my car as I was sitting in here and I've been riding around with this fabric I don't know if you remember, but this is some fabric that I purchased from Cali Fabrics. And I bought two pieces of fabric and I thought they would match, but when I got them in the mail, they didn't match up. So I've just been keeping this in the car so that whenever I go into a fabric store, I can hopefully find another piece of fabric to match it. And I think I wanna make like a uh, sweatshirt. I really would like to find a color similar to this or something that would go with this for the main body of the sweatshirt and then use this for like the sleeves. I've been playing with my mini dress form and I think I decided what I wanna make next. So I threw this together very roughly and placed it on my half scale dress form and what I want to do is make a dress and this is like a bib so this would be like a bib from an overall pattern and then I want this skirt portion to be like a um, pencil skirt so then I want to add straps so this is just to get an idea of what it would look like and I think that it would be kind of cute. So in order to get this look, I want to mash up two patterns. So I pulled out McCall's 7547. I've had this pattern for a while. This is a 2017 pattern. So I want to take this bib here and use that for the top portion of the dress with the straps and everything. And then for the bottom portion, I think I want to use this McCall's 8149 for the pencil skirt. And I want to put the two pieces together to kind of get this look. So that's my plan. I have this denim fabric left over from some project that I made. And I'm thinking this will be enough to cut out the bib. And then after I get the bib cut out and sewn up, then I think I'll just go to the store and see if I can find some more denim for the pencil skirt portion. So I only have to cut out five pieces for the bib. It would have been six pieces if I put on the pocket, but I don't want the front pocket on the front of the bib. I'm just gonna keep that area plain. And these five pieces are pretty small, so I definitely have enough denim scraps to cut out all these pieces, which I'm happy about. I always end up with so many scraps. So if I can use those up, 
then I am a happy person. So that's four. Where's the other piece I need? What do I need? 14. So 14 is right here. I'm just gonna cut this out. Cut around it. Look how little this piece is. This is just a little triangle. Can you see that? So this is the back bib facing. So once I cut out this little piece, then I can go ahead and move on to cutting out the actual fabric and sewing up the bib. So I'm just going to do this like one thing at a time. I'm not going to go and buy the fabric for the skirt. I'm just going to work on the bib, get that all done. Then I'll work on the skirt, get that all done, and then put everything together. I can't wait to see how this is going to turn out. So my Mexican food is going to end up being Chipotle. Before I left home, I was able to cut out the pattern for the upper portion, the bib portion of the dress. And then I did actually cut out the bib portion in denim. So now all I need to do is go ahead and start sewing the bib together. So I'm excited. I don't think it's going to take very long to get that bib put together. And then after that, I will work on the skirt and I'll keep you posted along the way. Here is the back of the bib. Here's the front of the bib. And this camouflage skirt is the same pattern that I plan to use. And I decided that I want to shorten the skirt. So I think I'm gonna cut the skirt out in the length for view A, which is this red skirt here. And then I also think I'm going to widen the waistband area because I feel like there's a lot of room between the waist and the skirt. And when I put it on together, just to kind of get an idea of how it will look, I thought it could use some more room right in this area. So yeah, I just put the skirt on here just to kind of get an idea of how the two pieces would look together. This is the denim that I'm gonna use for the skirt portion. And I was able to use my scraps to cut out all of the pieces for the skirt, except for the skirt front and back pieces and the waistband. So it's gonna look something like that. So with sewing, you can mix and match things. You can take things from one pattern and put them with another pattern. It's kind of like a recipe. So I decided to take these front patches from No Me 2024, I think it is. Yes, and add them to the front of the skirt. I did have to shorten this a little bit to make it fit. And here is how the front is looking so far. And here is the back of the skirt. And I placed it with the bib so you can see how the colors are coming out. This is the widened waistband. So there will be a waistband between the front bib and a waistband between the back bib, which is what you see here. I did put a zipper in the skirt. So once I add the waistband, this zipper won't be functional and I'm okay with that. I could have sewn this this all the way closed and put a zipper on the side but I really like the way that this looks here and I thought it would give the dress a little you know pizzazz or something so I left that there and I am going to have to put a zipper on the side I think so I think I'm gonna put everything together and try it on and if I have to put a zipper in the side I will because I did purchase this one just in case and I also purchased the clasp that will go at the top around the straps. I decided to go ahead and put the zipper on the side without trying anything on and now I'm just going to go ahead and work on the waistband. This is how the front is looking with the waistband on and here is the zipper inside of this area here but it's not open at the top. Now I just need to put the bib to the front and then the back bib to the back and what I'm going to do is match up this center front line with this center front line here and pin everything together and sew it and then the back I will do the same thing. There's a center front line there and I'll try my best to get them nice and even and pin both bib pieces 
to the waistband and then stitch it down. I drew my line too long. I really didn't need to bring it all the way down, but I took a ruler and I'm placing it next to the center front line. This is that zippered area on the front. And I just want to find out where the center is so that I'll know where to place the center of the bib. So I'm just marking it with some chalk there. And then I'll take the bib, this center front, right sides together, and I'll place that line on the line that I marked. And hopefully when I stitch it, it'll be nice and centered. And you'll also do the same thing for the back. And I recently just picked this pin cushion up from Amazon and I'll link it below if you're interested. I really like it because it's adjustable. So it has this strap here and you can tighten it or loosen it as needed. So let me make sure I'm not grabbing. Yep, I'm grabbing more than I need to. There we go. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pin this on and stitch it down and do the same thing for the back. I don't plan to finish the hem because I like that look so when I wash it it will fray a little bit and then I did put the closures at the top and I'm all finished. Mm -hmm. 